series of Japanese posters has been touring the world, telling the story of the country's boom period of the 80s and 90s. Right now, the exhibition is at the Japan Foundation in New Delhi, and we went there to find out more. People often argue about whether it is art that reflects life or life that reflects art. Maybe we should include advertisements in that conversation. In the late 1980s and early 1990s, Japan saw a period of incredible economic growth. In Japan, uh, the postal art is not just the medium of uh, conveying some information from one person to another or to the masses, but it is also as a cultural art or a social art. A lot of industrialists, they were, you know, since there was a lot of capital there, they were trying to spend a lot of money on the advertisements and publicity of their materials. And that is how the Japanese graphic designers came in and they used to spend a lot of money and give the graphic designers a lot of scope to work on, a lot of freedom to work on, not just as the posters, a lot of art was also involved. As a result, the advertisements were bright, hopeful, technologically forward. Such posters are currently on display at the Japan Foundation in New Delhi. This total exhibition is a collective of 15 graphic designers from Japan and each graphic designer we have five works from each. They were trying to display their product, trying to explain the product not just with the image of the product or the text of the product. They were trying to give it more as an abstract also to some extent, what I feel it after seeing the poster. If you, if you see the poster of Hiroshima Appeals, if you understand first from the poster, it is not giving anything about Hiroshima, not the structure and all, but white being the symbol of peace. This is what he's really trying to explain, that this is, there should be peace or we should have peace in society. The show demonstrates the ways that Japanese poster art was decades ahead of its time. In Japan, they still have the poster art, but I think in uh, the, that particular decade of 1990s and 80s, when the ad uh, advertisement and publicity market was at its boom, poster art was uh, at its high at that time. Slowly, slowly, there are a lot of other mediums of displaying, the, the other mediums of artist activities. So poster art has little, little somewhat diminished. The show has been touring the world for more than 10 years, and the show's organizers say that it has plans to make more stops in India. But in the meantime, you can see the show at the Japan Foundation in New Delhi until July 1st.